having interned there, I have um, a view of what it is that happens at KEMSA as a public institution. And as I said, I also worked at MEDS, which is a faith-based institution. And uh, what then I bring to KEMSA, which uh, I'm sorry to say, but most of the public institution, there's some laxity in terms of operational efficiency. While there, I realized we had a problem with quantifications, how they arrive at what they buy for patients. And at meds, quantification was almost accurate to the point. How did we do it? Is that we got to know the needs from the faith-based institutions, faith-based facilities. Early in advance, before we did our tender process, we could find out from the hospitals what their requirements were. Based on that, then we worked on quantification. At KEMSA, they do a push system, where then the stocks are pushed down to the facilities. And the facilities are supposed to be pulling from KEMSA. So the push system then means quantification is done at the top, at KEMSA level. And I'm happy because in Kenya Kwanzaa we are talking about bottom up. Therefore, the facilities will be bringing up their quantities. Based on that, quantification is done. And that is why you hear at KEMSA right now we have expiries, we have obsolete, is because of poor quantification. So we shall start right by supporting KEMSA to ensure that they do proper quantification for products. Regardless